dropping the bomb podcast. Um, no, this is never going to be video, so this is just for audio purposes and just for listening. Um, this show has three people, me, SmackDown vs. Raw, um, the guest you see right now, uh, or you don't really see, but you just see the picture, uh, Sweeping Golem and another guy, Kevin69, but just tonight, it's me and him, me and Sweeping Golem, so, uh, we're gonna be talking about DLC tonight, um, and, um, I think I'm gonna let Sweeping Golem take it away. Um, hey, what's up? Um, there, there's DLC coming out, and they have really late due dates, and I don't, I don't know why, but um, a few minutes ago we checked on Street Fighter Cross Tekken DLC, and it wasn't there. And they they said that it was going to come out April for April third, and guess what it is? April third, and they're really late on that, and that happens a lot with Capcom. So oh, I don't yeah. really understand that. Capcom's so. stupid, man. Like when it comes to DLC and just like. There, Capcom's just really slipping lately, and I, there was the thing that a guy did, and Capcom was saying how survival horror games, like, weren't profitable or something like that. What are they talking about? I'm like, you're, you have a franchise that is survival horror, so how is it not profitable? <laughs> like, you have Resident Evil. It, it's one of the greatest games ever. It is. And if, like, you don't, if, uh, that's what I'm just really scared of. I'm just really scared that they're not going to release Resident Evil 6 now. Um, what I'm worried about is that, like, how smooth the gameplay is going to be and how smooth the storyline is going to be and everything. Like, n no BS, like. None of that, yeah. It's Kind of like Halo Reach. Chips and dip, Halo party. Freaking Halo Reach got on my nerves. And so does Battlefield. Battlefield, that's a joke. It was funny because I'd like go to school. People would be like, "Oh yeah, you just complain about campers on Battlefield because you suck." And I'm just like, "Call of Duty's a much better game." Like, I, I don't know. My friend bought it, and he was like a big Battlefield fan, and he had it I think for a maximum of three days. And nah. then he leaves a comment on me to me on Facebook. And he's just like, "Yeah, you were right. Battlefield sucks." Yeah, like a lot of people say that the graphics are really good and it's really realistic and stuff, but that doesn't really make a good game. A good game makes it like really good gameplay, like Call of Duty, for uh, like for an example, like Black Ops. Black Ops is by far. Like, the second most good Call of Duty game, other than Modern Warfare 1. Yeah, Call of Duty. You mean before the hacks, right? For Call of Duty 4? Yeah. Okay, yeah. After the hacks was just a complete slaughter fest. I don't know why they would hack that, though. I I, I don't understand. It, it was such... It was like the, one of the most balanced Call of Duties I found. Yeah. It, it, was, it was so balanced, like... Uh, uh, and Black Ops is actually better on the PS3 just because it's more there's less little no life's on there but I don't mind it on Xbox either but if I had a choice I'd rather take it for PlayStation 3 I actually agree with you on that and I have an Xbox <laughs> <laughs> yeah you did have a PS3 so I did but I don't even know what happened to it I don't know um but <sighs> Capcom <laughs> you could like easily <sighs> go on for like a half hour just about them like such a letdown. Uh, well, now that I thought about it, I understand why that update didn't come out yet, because I just realized that in, like, Asia, it's not the third yet. It's only the second. No, I think... No, they're a day ahead of us, I think. It's either that they're a day ahead of us or a day behind us. I'm pretty sure. I think they're a day behind us, because in that, if that's the case, then the update for us will come out tomorrow. Because for us, it'll be the 4th, but for... I think they when they release it all at the same time, it has to kind of be the same day. Sort of, I, I don't know. I don't know how they do that. Uh, I don't really understand why Raccoon City was an arcade game. 
<laughs> it's it's an arcade Gears of War clone. <laughs> it really looks like Gears of War. And it feels like Gears of War, like Mass Effect 3. Ma yeah, like... Uh, a lot of, I've heard a lot of people say that actually. They're just like, "Yo, the new Mass Effects are just becoming Gears of War clones," and I have to agree. Like number two, number two really didn't feel the same as number one. Like number one is fantastic. Yeah. And since you have an Xbox, you should actually get that game. It, it's, it's incredible. I really should. It, I like it somewhat better than number two for some things, but I like the number two combat system a lot better. But in number one, just the overall story I found was incredible. Yeah. Ugh. Even though I never played the game, though, I, I still feel it's like a fluid game. Oh, yeah. Like, it, the story in number one, it had, for me, it had a lot of what the, what the hell moments in it. Like, I would sit, I would remember sitting here playing through it my first time and be like, whoa, what? What the hell is this shit? And then, like, I think stuff would happen and then they, it wouldn't happen and it just... It, I played through Mass Effect 1 at least three times and in that game there's achievements where you have to play a lot to get the achievement and I remember getting that for a couple of them and it, it was just incredible. In the Mass Effect 2, uh, I went through that game seven times. Counting my PlayStation 3 and my Xbox playthroughs. Just an incredible yeah. game. But, like, uh... I just don't understand. I just can't really grasp the concept. And, like, they make shit... They make you, like, pay for shit. Like, DLC that you shouldn't have to. Like, characters. I don't think you should ever have to pay for them. <laughs> I, yeah, like... Especially if they're not new. Like, I would understand if they were a new character that isn't relevant to the game at all. Like Cole, for example. Or Mega Man. Or Pac-Man. Shit like that. Oh my that. god, Mega Man looks so fruity in that game. I'm sorry. The box art version of Mega Man? No. I can't. I can't stand it. But, if you make us, like, pay for Blanca and shit, like, people who are relevant to the name, like... Street Fighter X Tekken, you shouldn't have to pay for characters that are in the that were in the game. Period. Like before this whole, like, crossover. Yeah, like, just it's stupid. Blanca. Yeah, I agree. Like, Capcom are just, they're just becoming more greedy and more greedy every single day, and it's starting to sicken me. You know what makes good DLC, though? That is worth paying for? It's uh, Epic Games, man. Yes. Gears of War DLC is actually fantastic. Uh, when's the next one even? Is the next one already out? Yeah, Forces of Nature is out, yeah. Yes. I'm going to I'm gonna have to grab that, because I need a reason to play Gears of War again. Yeah, I barely even play it anymore. Uh, I, so... I still haven't played it much online, even though they patched the shotgun. I still haven't took really a lot of advantage of that. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Well, as soon as I found that out, it was just like the one of the, some of the greatest news I heard. Then went on YouTube, saw the Resident Evil 6 trailer, and literally cried. Oh man, I'm gonna watch that now. Yeah, like, I, as soon as, like, I already knew, like, what was gonna happen, but, like, when I seen, I, I, I think I seen Chris Redfield first, and I was just like, aw, oh, yeah, he looks really freaking awesome in this game and then like I just saw Leon and tears started coming down my face I was like Leon yes and then I seen Ashley and she's not like a, a whiny bitch like she was in Resident Evil 4 like Resident Evil 4 you'd be sitting there trying to save her or you'd be sitting there just doing your shit killing zombies doing your thing and then you would hear her like crying because she's getting carried away <laughs> but in this game, she actually uses guns and shit, so I'm really excited for what Resident Evil 6 has to offer. If Capcom's still gonna make it, because, you know, survival horror isn't profitable. Yeah. Idiots. I know. Ugh. It's either you know that, what? or they're stupid crossovers <laughs> that make no sense. Like, MK vs. DC. 
That wasn't Capcom, actually. Yeah, but that was Midway, but that was the worst Midway. Yeah, that, that was that was heard. probably the worst crossover I've seen in a long time. Like, if they kept the gore, I would allow it. If they but... kept the gore, that's all, that's all that was needed, though. That's what I, that's what I hate most about games. Like, there's one thing about it, yet it, it's that one thing that spoils the whole game. Like, it's Mortal Kombat, like... It's not Mortal Kombat without gore. No. Like, um, shit, I'm trying to think of the game we just talked about like two seconds ago. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. No, Gears of War. Um, oh, yeah. How one thing spoils it, like the shotgun just spoiled the whole online. Like, you couldn't go online without someone using the shotgun. Once in a while, you get people using the Lancer and the Retro Lancer, maybe even the Hammer Burst, and then you just get all the other people that just use shotguns. They patched the sawed off before. I don't know why. They pa I that was the first patch they made, and um, again, I saw it all on YouTube. This guy just did a video saying how they patched the shotgun, and then he paused, and then he said, "Oh, and it's the sawed off shotgun, by the way." And I just instantly got pissed, and I just sat. I just sat there for a minute and was just like, "The sawed off." It already has no range to begin with. Why would you patch that? Patch, patch the shotgun that has retarded range. Like the friggin' Nasher. But they did, so. Yeah, like four or five weeks after. What, after the game? Like after they patched the sawed off. Oh, no, dude. It was actually way longer than that. Really? Yeah, like they patched the sawed off, I think two, three weeks after the game came out, and then, uh, just about, I want to say, maybe two months ago, two months, maybe three, I'm gonna say two and a half, that they patched the Nasher, and I literally jumped for joy, it, it was great, it was probably the greatest news I ever heard, or not heard, I actually just witnessed it. Because there's nothing better than turning on your system and you're just like, oh, update. What was that? I just sent you a message. Yeah, my screen went black. <laughs> uh. I forgot to turn off sleep mode. Um, It's just, uh... Downloadable content. Gotta love it. The worst DLC I've ever seen, though, is uh, Street Fighter. Just for the costume packs, like, who's gonna go out there and spend so much money on costume packs? They should be free. They sh Exactly! It's not like you're paying for a new character. It's not like you're doing that shit. It's not like you're paying for, like, a whole new game. I uh, Exactly. You should have to pay for campaign and shit. Like, Gears of War does it right. Be like, oh, yeah, we're gonna have some really awesome costumes and everything and it's gonna be like really awesome really awesome add-ons to your person when you customize your figure oh yeah what was i missing oh yeah it cost a thousand two hundred microsoft points like that that's the biggest we'll rip off because that's like 20 bucks because it costs twenty dollars to buy fourteen hundred you're spending twelve hundred so actually that may that may round to I want to say maybe 18 bucks. I, I want to say that. But I, I don't know how really the money, the monetary value works for points, but it's just, no. If you guys hear a little noise, it's me on uh, the PlayStation Network right now. Since we're talking about DLC, I'm just looking how much the DLCs actually cost for the game, for the games here. Man. Seriously? Really get me Raccoon City. Well, that's a fucking kid. That's a kick in the nuts right there. Um, on PS3, they had the characters from Mortal Kombat. They were five dollars a piece, right? Yeah. Now they're three dollars and forty nine cents. Shoot. And for PlayStation Plus members, you get it for two dollars and forty four cents. They got some good deals. Yeah, but it took them a year to lower the price. They got some late deals. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but 
a character for a game that already has a wide variety of characters already should not cost five dollars and then lower your price to only three forty nine like are you brain dead if your game has so many characters that a new character does not really matter it shouldn't cost that much it should be at it should be like only like a dollar and I think that averages to only like a couple hundred Microsoft points Comment down below if you guys know the math for that. Have you seen the person who made cat who made a uh, Street Fighter? The guy, um, the guy who was doing all the stuff. Yeah, no. he dresses he dresses up as the characters from his own game. That's kind of obsession. Yeah, that's stupid. Be like, oh, I made the game, so I'm gonna be Chun Li today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see how, uh, let's see this great Street Fighter, how much they charge for costume packs here. Me, like an idiot, I actually bought some because I buy a lot, like, I, buy, I just buy, like, $20 cards and everything, and I only buy literally what I want. I don't just mindlessly spend, and after that, I just have all these points left over, so that's when I will buy costume packs and shit. Because I literally just have nothing else to spend the points on. But I literally don't go out and just buy points just to buy costume packs. Like, that's retarded. Like, someone here, I'm kidding. <laughs> you? I'm just kidding. No, I, I do that sometimes just okay. for the sake of getting rid of them because I have no use for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if I'm sitting there and I see like a cool pack, like a cool costume pack and I have points left over, then I'm just like, oh, let's buy it, but... Wait a minute, what's today? Today is Tuesday, April 3rd. Oh, better dress as Ken. <laughs> I just hate, like... I do not even want to see the other characters that they're going to release for Street Fighter X Tekken, because after... And here's the greatest thing about the Street Fighter X Tekken DLC, the characters that are in the like previous games that are a key part to the series, but that's besides the point. Um, it comes out after the Vita version. Yeah. And the Vita version comes out in the fall. So we're going to have to wait till fall to play as these characters. And Which is the bomb, by the way. <laughs> You better be being sarcastic right now. I I am. <laughs> Thank God, because I'd have to come to your house and hit you. Waiting for the fall? You gotta be kidding me. Did they, did they like, drink their supper and eat their breakfast? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> they're, they're, fr they're smoking the new brand of crack right there. <laughs> Like seriously, it, it's the worst. That's, it's the worst marketing strategy. Like I, I'm not even in friggin' business for Christ's sake. But I even have better, like us the fans have better marketing strategy than these idiots. Yeah. At least I I wouldn't have been as irritated or mad if they had a said in the summer, because the summer is when. All shit happens anyway, so... Oh yeah, you know Soul Calibur V? Yeah. A lot of people are thinking of, uh, like, in the game studio, they're thinking of making, um... Like, Ezio have the Revelations costume. That's cool, because and... Ezio's great! I'm not downing him in the Assassin's Creed games, but... It's Soul Calibur... It's Soul Calibur, he's a retard. He is so slow... <clears throat> But that's a whole other rant in itself. Um, and all, all tires should have been in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Soul Calibur should have did... Um, i trying to think. They should not have taken characters out. Spawn. Spawn. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? That would fuck? be cool. Wait, what? 
spawn in Soul Calibur like they did in Soul Calibur 2. When exactly did this come out? Soul Calibur 2? No, um, the uh, the costume packs for Street Fighter X Tekken actually did come out today. Oh, wow. Um, I'm gonna go to those right now, actually, guys. Um, and then I'll stop this video and we'll just get on another rant about something else, but I just want to end this and just tell you guys how much these retarded packs are. Yeah. Um, Street Fighter X <clears throat> Wait a minute, Soul Calibur right. had Link? Yeah, the GameCube version did. Wow. wow. There's actually a lot. Oh, here it is. The Street Fighter X Tekken Special Color Palette. Okay, it's free, so the color packs did come out today. Sorry about that, guys. We didn't we didn't research enough. It's free. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but like usually See, this is what we're used to. Like, usually if it's a little thing like that, it usually updates itself. We don't have to go and find it. Yeah. Okay, like. so he, here's here's the costume packs that came out. Um, the Shao Yu costume swap. So basically, it makes Shao Yu look like Chung Li. Like, why? <laughs> and then you can make what? Jury look like Zafina. You can make Vega look like... Uh, someone from the Yoshimitsu clan. You can make <sighs> Ibuki... <laughs> you can make Ibuki look like someone, I don't know. You can make Julia look like Chung Lee. What?! <laughs> you can make Kuma look like someone from Aramika's wrestling squad. I... I'm actually that old that I remember who Aramika is. Um... You can make Bison look like Brian, and that's my phone. You can make Ogre look like Gil from Third Strike. Okay, that's cool. Gil's a boss. Yeah, he's um, a boss. You can make Cammy look like... Like, what? You can make Cammy kind of look like King? <laughs> you can make Sagat look like Dragonoff? What? <laughs> you can make Rufus look like Rue? Are you retarded? Think about it. Dragonoff doing tiger shots. <laughs> okay, you can put Chung Li in a panda costume. That's cool. No. Um... Make Kuma have the panda costume. That'd be cool. <laughs> Tekken preset combo pack. Who cares? Mega Man and Pac Man. I have those. Oh, Mega Man. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. You can make Rolento look like someone from Bison Squad or uh, Raven Squad. If Mega Man like in the crossover, like if he looked like Mega Man X, that would look cool. Cause Mega Man X is like. Like the best Mega Man game out there. <laughs> oh wow! Classic. Another another color palette came out, and the, it's free too. That's oh our, that's God. already eight colors we get for free. You can make Lily look like poison. <laughs> Yo, poison! <laughs> Did you actually know? Actually, yeah. We're gonna cut this video and uh, start a new one because I have a new topic coming up. But, uh, yeah, that was our first episode of podcast, downloadable Put content. Um, so, uh, yeah, peace.